you know, um, you said I had a thought about uh, just who is this man that they called Yahusha Hamashiach? Did he really come on the earth? Is he the figment of our imagination? Is he a made up story? Who is this man? Is he the man that they say this is Caesar Borgia that they call Jesus Christ? Or is there, he, he says, are you the one or should we look for another? That's what John the Baptist asked. I think, not I think, but it appears that we've been given a a false image. So we, we, we need to look for another. Let's let's find out who he is. Let's let's find out the other man that they don't talk about. Let's see who that man is. But before I it, there's a scripture in Genesis that says uh one and twenty six and Yahuwah Yahuwah and Elo said let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over, over the fish of the, of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That's what he said in Genesis. But then in Proverbs 8 and 22 and 34, uh, Yahushua HaMashiach explained him. he explained how he was there with the father. He was the one that the father was talking to when he said, let us make man. He said, Yahuwah possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the, the mountains were settled, before the hills were brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest parts of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundation of the earth, then was I by him as one brought up with him. I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the inhabitants, the, the habitable parts of the earth and my delight were, were with the sons of men See, he, he, Yahushua his delight was with the sons of men now therefore hearken unto me O you children for blessed are they that keep my ways hear instructions and be wise and refuse it not blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates waiting at the posts of my doors Uh, Genesis 1 and 26. And Yahuwah said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, all of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Romans 1 and 1 through 3. Paul, a servant of Yahushua HaMashiach, called to be apostle, separated unto the gospel of Elo, which had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son Yahushua HaMashiach, our uh, Master, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. See, he's letting you know he, he came in the flesh through the, the seed of David. Luke 2 and, 20 and 11. For unto you is born this day in the seed of David a, a Savior, which is uh, the Hamashiach, the Master. Matthew 2 and 15. And was there unto the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the master by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Matthew 2 and 23. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. He shall be called a Nazarene. Luke 2 and 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Yahusha. Uh, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. See, he didn't come here as a natural uh, man, a boy, a child. He came here, he was called the angel because he, 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 he didn't come here 
uh, uh, although he was in the flesh, he didn't he didn't come here uh, with the stain of the flesh. He came here as an angel. He came here with a purpose. Isaiah 53 and 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root out of the dry ground, and he has no form nor commonness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Philippians 2 and 9. Wherefore Elo has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, Elo, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Hebrews 1 and 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, upholding all things by the power, by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. So he came here with a purpose and he fulfilled it. Psalms 45 and 6, Thy throne, O Elo, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. See, the Most High called him Elo. Because he came here with a purpose. He gave him a name above every name. He called him Elo. And then you say, what's the precept? Hebrews 1 and 8. But unto the Son, he says, Thy throne, O Elo, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. So he came through the bloodline of David, who he said, through David, Yahuda shall always have a king over it. First John 4 and 3, and every spirit that confesses not that Yahusha Hamashiach is come in the flesh is not of Elo. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, even now already is in the world. Colossians 1, 14, 15. And whom we have redemptured through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible Elo, the firstborn of every creature. So he was with him in the beginning, and he's the exact express image of him. That's why he said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Literally and spiritually. 1 Peter 1-19-20 through But with precious blood of, of the Hamashiach as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily has for, for ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. See, in these last times, he's being, he's being manifested for us. Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose name are not written in the book of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. Hebrews 1 and 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. I got a few minutes, so let me. I, I, there's another scripture that I want to share with you. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me see. Bear with me, I'm trying to find this scripture to bring it home for you. This here is uh, King David in Psalms. Let's see, let me try to get one more, one more, one more. Psalms 1 
Okay, this is um This is uh, King David expressing how the Hamashiach felt when he was being crucified. So this is the, the literal Yahusha Hamashiach expressing through the, through the Spirit to King David to let him know how he felt when he was actually being crucified. Now see, this brings it home to let you know this was a real living man that had went through this. Uh, Psalms 22, 13 through 14. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravering and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is, melting, it, it is melted in the mix of my bowels. That's how he felt when he was being crucified. You know, so, these scriptures, man. These scriptures are real. You know, this is, some, this is real. So, just want to share that with you and uh, Shalom.